The gameplay footage that you're looking at right now is GTA 5 at 1080p low settings running on an RTX 3080 Ti, which as you can see is working real hard. Now fun fact, that gaming performance is actually worse than what you'd get from a GT 710. And it's all because of this little adapter that I can only imagine was developed by Satan. See, what it does is it takes the PCIe connectors that we all know and love and adapts it to a PCI slot, an interface that hasn't been sexy to use for graphics cards in around 20 years. So what I'm going to do in today's video is I'm going to show you how I got this all running and then we're going to compare the RTX 3080 Ti to a GT710. And then finally, we're going to see how big boy games like Battlefield 5 and Cyberpunk handle the bottleneck from hell. Now first things first, we need to find a system to do all these tests with, which is actually not that easy to do considering that PCI hasn't been around for a while, so you don't really get modern motherboards with this connector. <sighs> Luckily, recently I bought this system from eBay, which very conveniently has a PCI connector on it. Now the system itself is already going to be a massive bottleneck, so we're going to have to do some control tests first to see kind of what performance we get from it with like a GT710 and with this graphics card in a PCIe slot on the motherboard, and then we're going to raise the stakes a bit. With the GT710, we have a lofty baseline here with GTA 5 1080p low settings, averaging about 22 frames per second with a 1% low of about 15 frames per second. Now that we have our baseline reading, I'm going to use the RTX 3080 Ti in the PCIe slot to see what it performs like with just the general terrible system before also adding the massive interface bottleneck into the equation. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove this system from the case because the adapter kind of stands off and stuff uh, and that does mean that I'm gonna have to ruin the immaculate cable management in there but you know you got to do what you got to do so give me a second let me quickly do that Wow, that already looks stupid and we haven't even gotten to the stupid bit of the video yet. But with that, let's see how it runs in this system. Okay, that's a pretty big jump over our baseline, but it's still very slow for an RTX 3080 Ti. But let's, let's take it a bit further. Okay, the time has finally come. Let's introduce Satan's adapter. I'm gonna pull that out. Oh, this already feels very precarious. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna hold. Let me, let's try this. Hey, there we go. The old box wedge trick works like a treat yet again. Now the first step is to see if we can just get a signal out of this 3080 Ti through the PCI slot. I mean, that's already promising. No signal detected. I don't think we're getting a signal out here. After this, I spent about two hours trying to get any kind of combination to output a signal using this PCI slot. I tried different graphics cards, I tried various settings in the BIOS, but nothing would work. Finally, I changed over to a different motherboard that I happened to have lying around that also had a PCI slot. And, and well, this is what happened. Okay, now we've got an entirely different system plugged in here. Um, it's actually quite promising because in the BIOS, by default, it has PCI as being the primary graphics adapter slot on the motherboard. Um, so hopefully that means that it works. Okay, let's see. Now again, it's powering up in the exact same way that it did with the previous motherboard. No way, we've got a video out, holy sh**. I was getting ready to make a I'm a loser and my experiments always fail video. So this is, this is exciting. I'm surprised at how plug and play this has been. Like I literally just plugged it in and it's, it's worked. Installed the drivers and everything seems fine. 
We're actually hitting a hundred percent utilization on the Thinian DI. <laughs> With the core frequency, it's jumped all the way up to 1965 megahertz. Okay, let's let's go for a bit of a drive, see if it gets better. Ooh, it, it doesn't. No, it's it's really not gotten any better here. I love that the actual GPU utilization's cracked, but I guess that's just because the interface has been saturated. I guess it's like a hundred percent interface utilization. Oh yeah, this is this is how you want a game with your brand new thousand two hundred dollar GPU. Oh, that is that is horrendous. That is definitely worse than a GT seven ten, which is crazy. I didn't think that that was possible, even with oof, even with any bottleneck. We just dipped below double digits there. But with that, let's do some benchmarks and see in actual raw performance uh, how it compares with the GT710. Damn, that's not even just within the margin of error. And bigger than the average differences is the difference with the 1% lows. And you really can feel how much more stuttery it is with the 3080 Ti and the PCI slot. Uh, but with that, let's try some big boy games like Battlefield 5 and Cyberpunk. Oh yes, this is how you really should experience Battlefield 5. Oh, this is the business. 1080p low settings and we're hitting 3 FPS with the 3080 Ti. Okay, here we are. We've got some combat coming. There's, there's a little bit of input lag, I'd say. This is, this is the worst gaming experience I've ever seen on a system before. This is like, oh, but we're gonna, we're gonna get a kill, I think. I think he's died, okay, dope, look at that, we got a kill. Handgun, should I just stab him? Ow, what's happening? Oh, it's worked, okay, we got him. <laughs> Oh no, I'm so hurt as well. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think it's running any better at 720p. If anything, it's worse. Wow, we're fluctuating between like two and four frames per second. <laughs> I think if anything, 720p is running worse than 1080p. Wow, of course Half-Life 2 somehow manages to run super well. <laughs> we're on low settings here, but we are running at 1080p and yeah, we're getting like above 100 frames per second. Hey, would you look at that? We're getting about 40 frames per second here, which means we're actually getting better gaming performance than Chewy gave us, uh, which tells you a lot about Celerons, but, um, you know, this is a 3080 Ti, so I guess it shouldn't be massively surprising. <laughs> okay, so this is what 133 megabits of gaming performance looks like. Cyberpunk has taken three attempts to launch, but now it finally seems to be okay. Wait, I can't really tell. Is this any different to how Cyberpunk normally runs?